สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? I'm pretty busy myself with life, work, and blah blah blah. A lot of things going on at the end of the year, especially the holiday season is coming. So I'm pretty busy these days. All right, but I'm I'm going to uh, update my portfolios today before I'm going back to my very busy life. As usual, okay. So this is my family position. I still have all of my family shares. Actually, I have been averaging it up a little bit, which is um, I'm not sure if it's good or bad. But uh, you know, like I told you, I don't want to just like you know selling at the bottom and then um, trying to catch up the price. So every time I sold, it bounced on me. So I just decided I'm just gonna buy and hold. Um, if it goes down, I'm just gonna buy more. Uh, but it haven't really, really, like you know, go down that bad. But you know, I have been adding the shares, and I don't know. It still could go a lot lower, below my average price. But I'm kind of okay with this price. So my average right now, my average price right now is around thirty-three cents, and um, I mentioned to you guys before that. This stock was overbought because the RSI was over. I think it was yeah. At that time, it was the RSI was above seventy, which is right here. You see the circle. I yeah. I think that's when I told you guys that I had concern because the RSI was overbought. But now the RSI is cooling down, so it's kind of like probably around forty. Right, around forty-seven, so which is not too bad. I kind of like it. I like, kind of like the price consolidation here. Um, so it doesn't go up a lot and it doesn't go down a lot, which is great. I kind of don't like when the stock is too volatile. Like you know, if it just go up a lot, like or go down a lot, I don't like that. So this is trading sideways, which is good for, um, you know, holding. I mean, like I said, so my channel is not a financial advice, so it's just for entertainment purposes only. So just make sure that you manage your own risk, okay? Um. Well, I actually I said to buy more just in case it goes down, but I'm not sure it's gonna go down that much. It could go up, um, in the short term. And because the market is doing the uptrend, and okay, I forgot, I forgot where we are now. Okay, um, sorry, <laughs> my brain doesn't work well these days. You know, maybe I just like I work too much. Okay, um, so make sure you guys manage your own risk. Um, actually, this stock is still trading. Way below EMA two hundred, I wish it's kind of trade above EMA two hundred. That's gonna be um, you know, it could go up a lot higher, unfortunately, but hopefully, hopefully it will hit EMA two hundred someday. So which is around fifty four cents, as I've seen from the chart over here. So I actually I said to buy more. Just in case it ever goes down, but this stock, um, it just you know just my preference. I just prefer to hold a little longer, and I don't mind holding it. I mean, I could be paper handed and sell it, but I'm just gonna try to be diamond handed right now. We we'll see how it goes. This kind of stock, it's gonna test a lot of my patience. It still has gap fill around seventy seven cents. Oh, hopefully it go there someday. I don't know when. So I think in the short term, it could still can go up in the short term, and it might get uh some sell off sometime before New Year because you know at the end of. November December is kind of like you know when people start selling off for 
tax purposes, you know, taking loss or selling profit for the taxes. My next baby is NCTY. This stock finally I'm green on both portfolios today. I have shown you guys before that I was red in one account and then one account is kind of like green and break even, kind of flat. But today, both of them finally green, go green, green. So on this portfolio, I have only 80 shares. My average is $13.71. And right now, it's trading at 14 and 10 cents so i'm up about 30 dollars yay <laughs> 30 dollars i mean which is great you know at least you're not red on it anymore but it still could go down below my average and you see that this is daily chart rsi is hitting 70. Hmm. it's kind of overbought a little bit it could just tank and or it could just go sideways, whatever. But I believe that they're going to cool the RSI down. And I'm co okay with holding it a little longer. Like I said, you know, I've been holding bags for like some bags. I've held them for like since March, April, and I still have them. And then some of them, I just like try to cut them. Okay, let's talk about this stock a little more look you see that so today it does hit EMA 200 at 1451 and now it's dipping but it's still holding in the um it's still holding 14 area which I kind of like it I've been liking this stock anyway plus these couple of days they've been like releasing the good news, kind of like, you know, kind of pump the stock up a little bit. And I think it's probably going to be good for the next pump, for the New Year pump. Usually, New Year's, Chinese stocks usually do do good in New Year's. I don't know, this is just like, this is just my personal experience and um, my observation in my two and a half years of trading. You know, I'm not an expert or I'm not a professional or anything. It just, you know, everyone learns different way and, you know, you learn different things. Let's see, daily chart. I like it. I like it. I like it. Hit 1470. And then dipping. And it's still holding. It's dropping below 14 now, but we'll see. So let's take a look on my portfolios. So I'm growing small portfolios on Weibo. I actually have like two other accounts on one on Robinhood and one on Think of Swim. Um, both of those accounts are my challenge account that I put only 1k on each account and they're growing pretty good I mean they're not like you know super great but you know at least I'm profit on both of them okay just like in Weibo okay my one of my portfolios as you will see this one so it went, it recovered pretty well two weeks ago. Uh, when was it? Let me see. Okay, so on, actually on the 1st November, so this account went to, so my profit went up to 7,800. Still not recover. It's all time high in February, but you know, at least it's, getting better than it used to be and today so it dropped to six thousands and six hundreds um well actually um a few positions of my accounts they're actually green but tesla drops and that drags my account down too 
unfortunately but i'm still happy with the overall result and my second account on Weibo so at one point so this account just went all time high on was it first November too? Oh actually this account went all time high on hold on oh my god it hit 11k right there on October 27th so my profit hit 11k and today it drops down to 900 9, 9 ish but you know it drops a little bit but I'm still pretty happy with it because it went all time high so as I tell you that I'm not a professional trader I'm just you know somebody who's still learning and growing my small portfolios and I'm pretty happy with my return my gain this year because you know in the first couple of years I actually did lose some money so this year so I get all my investment money back my house money plus profit so I'm pretty happy with it and I'm trying to be a little more aggressive this year because you know because i think i kind of like understand the market a little bit more um not really I don't, i'm kind of comparing to some other traders i may be like you know like really really far behind but at least i'm not losing my money right and then i'm gonna try to grow my account more because i want to be a full-time trader too it might take me years before you know I can do that but I'm gonna keep learning so all right I think it's time for me to get back to my very busy life thank you guys for watching my YouTube and we'll see you guys next time bye good luck everyone makes a lot of money <laughs>